Hey everyone, thanks for joining Learn to Play Games. My name is Lance, and in today's video, I want to take a look at the Kickstarter that is currently going on for Marvel Zombies. This is the latest game from Come On Games, and is their latest entry in their zombie guy zombie side game universe. So with this one, I want to dive into this a little bit more, take a look at what's going on in this Kickstarter, as we only have 67 hours left of this campaign. I want to kind of dive into that, give my impressions and feelings on this. Will this be one that I am going to back? And what are my reasons for backing? And my thoughts on whether you should back or not. And I'd love to hear some opinions on you from you guys as well. Let me know what your thoughts on this as well. Is this one you're looking at backing? Why or why not? Love to start a conversation as this one is winding down. There's only a couple of days left, like I said. So I don't know how many views this one will get, but I wanted to put my two cents out there as I'm a big fan of Zombie Side and I, I love Come On Games and I love I always want to see them do well, but I'm also kind of curious on this one because it has me scratching my head a little bit. So let's go ahead and dive into this a little bit and figure out what's going on here. So if anybody out there is not familiar with this particular Kickstarter as of right now, this is the latest game in the Zombie Side universe. This one includes or introduces Marvel to that universe, and they split it into two different core games. The first one is the Marvel Zombies, which is going to introduce some new dynamics within the game where you're actually going to be playing the zombie version of the Marvel heroes. So, you know, it's Iron Man or... Captain America or all these other heroes that have been infected with the zombie virus and now you're playing as them. And from what I've been able to determine so far is that you're going to be basically moving around as these different heroes trying to defeat the different shield forces and then being able to gain different abilities and constantly having to eat and do different things to maintain your being and being able to meet your different objectives while well, you'll be facing non-zombie versions of some of the heroes as well. On the other side, we have the X-Men Resistance box, and this one is going to be your typical zombie side game where you're going to be playing as the non-zombie heroes, playing off against the zombies and some of the zombie versions of heroes as the game goes on. And then, of course, you can buy this massively huge miniature or giant miniature whatever you want to call it um which will introduce some new game components in that but uh, it's it comes at a hefty price tag of almost two hundred dollars so uh whether or not that's worth it everybody's different um but let's go ahead and dive into some of this campaign a little bit more just to kind of see what's going on so as as it stands right now with 66 hours left we have over a little over 200 or 20,000 backers at 5.65 million dollars. From there, let's go ahead and look at the campaign and kind of dig into this a little bit more. So there's a couple of different pledge levels. You can start off with just the basic pledge that's going to get you the zombie version of the core game and this is going to give you all the different everything play they've got some new dashboards for these zombie players where you can get different perks and different abilities based on different as you eat and collect different things and then of course you have some new gauges and stuff as well your health tracker and that and then experience tracker uh, as you go through everybody's familiar with how this works that's played zombie side in the past and then of course, we have our second level, which is the Resistance Pledge, which gets you both of the core games. And then finally, we have Biggest Pledge, where you can get the uh, Mega Miniature, and uh, Silver Surfer, and, and the exclusives that are going to be added into this. So other than that, once we get past that, then it's going to start giving us some of the stretch goals, which, of course, everything... Uh, stretch goals and the big miniature and all that kind of stuff these are all exclusives so if you don't get in on the kickstarter you're going to miss out on all of this stuff which is going to get that fomo running or feel failure or feelings of missing out um and there's a lot of different exclusives here now most of the time with come on games and that i'm a big fan of their exclusives um with this one it's a little bit different i not quite as excited about this one. First off, my background, I'm not a huge comic book fan. I mean, I've enjoyed the Marvel movies just like everybody else, but I don't 
childhood I didn't read comics and all that. I was more of, I, I loved medieval stuff. I loved medieval times and all that kind of thing. So the, and more, the comic book heroes and all that never really did it for me. So I'm kind of over it now. Endgame was like the big movie. I made it through that. I really enjoyed all of the movies up to that point. And now that that Endgame is over, I'm kind of just done. I'm kind of ex I've spent with Marvel and superheroes, and um, would really love to see Hollywood kind of try something else now. I know they're still going strong with some of them. Some of them not so much. Haven't done so well. Super or Spider Man obviously is killing it at the box office right now. I haven't had a chance to see that one, and I am interested. I think that one is one of the few that I, I would probably see going forward. But up to that point, like, I didn't go to see Eternals, and I didn't go to see uh, Shang-Chi and all that. I just, just not interested at this point. And a lot of the new stuff that they're talking about, just don't care. So that kind of plays into this, where obviously this is a huge IP for Come On Games, and that obviously... Uh, and it's going to do well because it's a Marvel thing, top of everything else, uh, being a Zombie Side franchise and all that. Zombie Side is a solid game, and they've had a lot of them released over the years. Um, and each one of them kind of gives you a little bit of differences here and there. Uh, I still feel like the the top, the pinnacle of of the Zombie Sides was Black Plague. And the medieval series, it, I mean, I love the originals, but once they hit Black Plague and that came out, it kind of changed the fundamentals of the game, added some new things that really kind of like brought the game back for me. Um, made fatties pretty terrifying again, added some other effects that uh, like armor and that that really made sense within the game. Um, and I, I kind of feel like they've been chasing that ever since. They've, they haven't quite gotten that same reaction so far from the newer ones now we haven't seen what the the western's going to be yet as that one hasn't shipped um i wasn't as big of a fan of the space one i liked some of the things that they added in and actually would have thought that that some of those things moving forward would have made sense uh for example like being able to um I can't remember the name the 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 rule for it but basically it allowed you to shoot at a target with a weapon that maybe had rapid fire that didn't do as much damage, but it, you'd choose your target, and then if you got enough hits, they would all kind of stack together and count. And I, I thought that was a really interesting concept, and I, th I think that they could have really used that moving forward with some of these other things. Now, I can't say for certain if those rules are in or not, as I did dive into the rules within the Kickstarter, but they're only fragments. There's only, I think, like, the, the one rulebook has 18 pages, and the other one has nine so they're just kind of showing us bits and pieces, but not really digging into a lot of the rules. And I didn't have a chance to, to dig in and watch Quackalope's videos on those, uh, just to kind of to get some of the more of the rules down that he was showing off. Didn't have a chance to, to dig into that. So I, don't, I can't say for certain if some of these aren't included, but from what I've been able to, to see from some of this stuff, it doesn't look like a lot of this stuff is included. I feel like they missed the boat on some of that. Uh, going back to my previous point with the Marvel stuff, um, especially with the exclusives with this one, I feel like the Marvel, the IP, the Marvel IP has such a, it's such a huge IP that this could be one of, come on games, like flagship games going forward, kind of introducing new people to board gaming and getting people into zombie side as well as bringing them in with the Marvel IP and all that. So having this one have so many exclusives, especially exclusives that kind of go in tandem with the, the core games. So like if you obviously miss this Kickstarter, half of the heroes you won't get or half of the, the zombies you won't get. Now, if these are just exclusive sculpts and then they end up releasing some of those models later on as different sculpts or whatever, that would be cool. But honestly, I don't think they're going to do that. So I think... Unfortunately, if you miss this Kickstarter, you're going to miss out on a huge portion of some of these, these different characters and being in the Marvel Universe, obviously people are going to want to have that stuff. So I think that that is one big thing that's kind of disappointing to me for this particular one is that obviously there's a lot of people out there that are constantly discovering board games that aren't going to necessarily want to drop this kind of money on a Kickstarter, but might be able to, might be willing to buy 
you know, some of these characters down the road or whatever. And unfortunately, they're going to have a hard spot doing it. Um, so I'm not a big fan of that and the way that is. And, and they're doing these daily stretch goals now where they're going to be constantly giving you stuff. Some of these are really neat. Um, but again, these are all exclusives. I mean, you even have Captain America. I mean, as a hero that you're only going to be able to get through this Kickstarter. And I, yeah, so I, that's really disappointing. If they were not the the, the core heroes or, or more obscure heroes as some of these are, then it's not such a big deal. But man, they've got some some of the heavy hitters in here, which is a real shame that only the Kickstarter backers are going to be able to, you know, benefit from some of these or people that are willing to spend ridiculous amounts of money on kick, on uh, eBay in that after the fact. And they'll, I'm sure they'll be making crazy amounts of money by, uh, yeah, selling some of this stuff. And then you've got a number of different options to buy in. We have the Fantastic Four. Um, and this is another kind of point that I kind of, I was kind of upset about. Um, they're showing the content on these, so I don't know if this is everything again, and, and I might be wrong on this. Um, if it isn't, that hoping it isn't, but um, they had some really interesting expansions when they did the second edition of Zombicide with some really cool different features where you kind of played through a campaign narrative and you were able to unlock um, better weapons and stuff like that throughout the campaign. I haven't played through those completely, but it was really interesting to kind of see some of that. And I think that could have really been cool with something like this to kind of see some of that with some of these expansions. And I, again, I feel like that was another missed opportunity for come on games with some of these where this, these are just literally adding in new characters, a couple new boards, and that's it. I mean, there's nothing else here. You got a couple new bystanders, you got the heroes and the zombies, and again, a ton of exclusives. So even if you get these expansions later on, you're going to miss out on this stuff, which is a shame. From there, then we have the Hydra uh, Resurrection. Again, same kind of stuff. Nothing major from at least what they're showing here. Again, this might change at, once they get to that point. I can't remember. I'd have to go back and look at the season or second edition of zombie side to see if if they showed off any of that stuff during the kickstarter or not or if that was just stuff that came up after the fact but again tons of exclusives you know, trying to get you to buy these things if you go all in on this pledge it's a it's a it's going to be hefty it's going to be going to be way up there uh then we have the guardians of the galaxy set again really cool like really nice miniatures lots of different options some more exclusives so if you want uh, both versions both heroes and the zombie versions of them unfortunately if you don't get the kickstarter luck uh, they introduced this new one the guardian uh, the uh sentinel strike ones where you're going to have these really looks like really big miniatures uh in there that you're going to have to to deal with this one doesn't get any new tiles or anything so this one's super bare bones um, and they're whop wanting a whopping 40 bucks for that. From there, then we go into, they have a special artist pack with uh, some different Spider-Mans and different things uh, with that. And then finally, the plastic tokens, which I'm usually a big fan of. But man, these have really gone up. 30 bucks plastic tokens. So yeah, that's, uh, that's a little hefty. I don't think I'll be buying plastic tokens this time around. And then you have your extra dice. Uh, from there, then we kind of go through the breakdown of what's included in each box and all that. And some really, really nice. I mean, these these minis look really good. Uh, of course, these are renders at this point. We haven't seen them in full plastic. But from what I've seen from Come On Games, like, their quality is very good. Out of all the companies, they're, they're one of the top ones for miniatures. Probably not the top anymore, as there's been some really impressive miniatures uh, that have come out from other companies but they're still one of the best. So I already know right from, from the get-go that I'm going to get a solid product. The game's going to be good. I mean, obviously, I'm familiar with Zombie Side. They've added a couple of little tweaks, but it doesn't look like anything super major at yet playing as the zombies. But for mo the, all intents and purposes, it's there. you're still playing Zombie Side. You're still you know going up against the same kind of... of enemies where you're going to have walkers runners baddies and abominations they're just 
calling them different with the shield agents. So as you're gonna, as I'm talking about here, you're getting into this. So we have the uh, the different troopers, which are you're going to be your walkers. Then you have your guards that are probably going to be your baddies, your specialists, which are going to be runners, and then you have your enemy superheroes, which are your options. So unfortunately, they ha I feel like they had an opportunity here that they could have really kind of like changed the fundamentals of the game. And uh, again, they kind of missed the boat on that. Because again, it's just basically another zombie side. Um, and it's interesting the choice of uh, some of the heroes that they went with here. But, you know, and then, you know, obviously tiles and that, and these look really nice, uh, really, really cool designs on these, different tokens. And then they're going to give you hero compatibility stuff. And then again, like I said, I kind of went through some of this. It's not the whole rule book. It's, it's just a portion of it. From there, then we go into the hero version. And this is the X-Men side of things, which is, again, straight up basic zombie side. Um, go through the components. We introduce some of the bystanders. So now we're going to be rescuing bystanders, and those will give you some of your abilities. There won't be weapons and stuff like that in this. Um, which I was one of the things I was kind of wondering how they were going to handle. Now you have different powers that you're going to be able to activate turn and you'll have power gauge. Um, I think on the side here where you're going to be able to spend some of those power points to activate abilities or augment them in different ways. And then you'll have your basic attack, which is interesting. Um, and then you'll have a set of different abilities, which you'll unlock as you work your way up. I would have liked them to stay with the traditional zombie side in that manner, where you actually get some choices, um, where you can kind of tailor your heroes a little bit, keeping them within the theme, but I think um, being able to still have some choices would have been would have been nice. But I guess I guess that kind of comes in with some of your power-ups and stat too. So can't really say for certain because I haven't played it, but uh, yeah. You have your spawn cards, and then again. Here we are with your walkers, your brutes, which are your fatties, runners, and then these zombie heroes. So same kind of setup again. Uh, from there, then kind of branch through. There's the set of rules, and then it goes into this massive mob here. Let you swipe out some of the different things so you could have it as his living version or zombie version have his own set of different uh, things to bring him down and destroy him. So you have to kind of piecemeal him, uh, beat him up in a number of different areas, which is really cool. I like that. Uh, I think that's really neat. I think that they could have, and that kind of brings me to my next point. I think the thing that I feel like they really missed the boat on, especially with Marvel and that, is the introduction of villains and kind of having a, a higher class than Abominations. Because um, in the last few zombie sides, there's so many characters that have the super strength and, and all these different things, different ways of, of handling the abominations. Now, they're not as much of a threat. They're more of a nuisance. Whether you have to get the Molotov cocktails or, you know, finding, having one of your heroes have the superpower or super strength or whatever, or a number of other ways of handling them. So it would have been really neat to see them introduce like a higher class of enemy. Um, with the the villains, you know, I mean, this is a, a wonderful opportunity. If if heroes are falling to a virus, you know, the vi zombie virus, and and things are in turmoil, that's when the villains are going to take um, advantage of it. Um, whether they end up becoming zombies or not, um, in their quest for power, kind of goes in hand in hand. But I think having another class of enemy that is is more challenging than abominations or is must be handled in a different way whether it is you know like fighting and, and defeating multiple parts of them or you know i mean i'm not i'm not a rules designer so i can't really say for certain but i, I you know like i said i think there is some um, there was some definite um avenues that they could have taken zombie side in that would have introduced it again in a fresh manner instead of sticking with what was safe 
it would have been really neat to see them kind of push the envelope and in a way re-event Zombie Side, and especially with such an, a massive iconic IP. This could have been the new Black Plague, and it might be. I mean, I, I can't say for certain again because I haven't played it. But I think this is one that could have really shined and introduced some really cool new rule sets that could have really kind of pushed the envelope of Zombie Side and, and kept it relevant as opposed to, you know, kind of just cookie cuttering it and adding a new skin on there and, you know, a couple little things. I think that this could have really been something special and cool, especially the way that uh, Come On had really kind of built this one up as like their big, you know, massive kickstarter and really special and all that and then i kind of feel like they kind of dropped the ball on this one a little bit so that was really long-winded and a very long kind of video so far so it kind of comes down to this point am i going to back this and why or why not so <laughs> so as far as come on games is concerned i have pretty much backed almost every game that they've put out and for the most part, I've been very happy with it. There's been a couple over the years that haven't quite hit the mark or, um, you know, just aren't very good. But overall, I've been very happy with them. And as much as I'm kind of over some of the zombie side stuff, I still enjoy playing. It's one of my dad's favorite games. He just really enjoys it and has really gotten into it over the years. And pretty much most of the time when I get together with him, if we're around each other for any length of time, he wants to throw down one of the, the zombie sides, whether it's the new one, the, the second edition, or whatnot. So uh, one of this is probably one of the few series that I've played where I've almost played through most of the scenarios, uh, whether it was Black Plague or Green Horde or the original zombie sides. Um, I've played through most of the scenarios in these, a lot of them with my dad, and he just really enjoys it. So... Even beyond that, I think this one will be one that I will I will back because of of that and being able to have something that I, my, me and my dad enjoy playing, and uh, one of the things that we experience. And you know, he's not a, a super big Marvel fan either, but I think that this one will you know there's some interesting aspects to it. Now, again, like I said, I think that they missed the boat on it and they could have made it even better. But as far as the game's concerned. I think that this, I think this will be a good zombie side and it'll be something different to throw on the table. And so for those reasons, I think I will be backing this one. And then, you know, obviously for the channel and that anyways, I think this is a, you know, be, a, be a good one to have some videos on and coverage of once it comes out and to do some stuff for the channel. So those are my reasons uh, probably for backing it. Now, if I was just a private collector, personal, you know, gamer, or whatnot, would this be one that I would back? I don't know. Um, like I said, Marvel doesn't do it for me, so you know it would go down to the game itself. Like I said, I do enjoy Zombie Side, but it's not one that I throw on the table all the time anymore. Um, I think it's still a very solid game, but <sighs> it's getting to the point where it's getting it's getting a little old, especially with as many as they have turned out um, over the years. I mean, obviously, this was the one that kind of started everything. You know, the <laughs> for me too, like the original Zombie Side, the very first original Zombie Side was uh, first game that really kind of showed how well board games can do on Kickstarter. It was what, the first board game I ever backed on Kickstarter, so I do have a long history with Zombie Side and. It was one of the first cooperative games that I played um, that really kind of reinvigorated my interest in board games. So I do owe a lot to Zombie Side in a way, um, kind of getting me back into board games and and the <laughs> insane journey down the Kickstarter road that I've been through now that I've backed like 300 games or something like that insane amount like that and the amount of money that I've sunk into it and all that and obviously my YouTube channel and everything else so it kind of all stems from that first experience and you know where I've come from there so yeah I think I will you know I, I think even as a, a, a gamer myself like I probably would have backed this anyways uh, and as far as going all in I don't know like I did for Death May Die, and I do not regret that. I love that, that absolutely disgustingly massive miniature. Um, and I love the fact that there's game components to it, and that it's not just a miniature that I could you know, play it. I haven't yet. 
<laughs> to be honest. Um, but I, I hope to at some point. Um, I, you know, it was a game that I really enjoyed. So, yeah. So as far as I stand, I, yeah, I'm going to back this and most likely we'll go all in. Uh, and uh, obviously I'll be doing a lot of coverage of this once it comes out. I'll probably look at doing a teaching video. Uh, it's been a little while since I've had a teaching video for Zombie Side since the uh, Space One that I had covered a while back. Um, I don't know what I'll do with the Western one. I did back it, and I will be playing it. I don't know how much coverage I'll do on that one, but let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Is that one? Is this stuff that you're interested in? Would you like to see more coverage on some of this stuff? What do you think of this particular format for my Will I Back videos? Um, it's been a little while since I've done these, and this one was definitely a deeper dive than some of my other ones. This has been a long one. So let me know what you what you think. Was this helpful for you at all? Was this just me rambling on in, incoherently for an unbelievable amount of time that it has lost interest way back when? <laughs> uh, let me know in the comments down below. And let me know if this was helpful or not and whether or not uh, this is one you're going to be backing and why you've decided to, to back or why not. Love to hear from you. I'd love to uh, start a conversation. So uh, as always, uh, find these videos helpful let me know please hit that subscribe button and like and you know leave a comment it's the algorithm gods are, are very dependent on that stuff so uh, give me a little bit of love give the channel a little bit of love hit those buttons and until next time i'll see you later